Wow, every passage has its surprises, and this one had many, including how it ended in a mud bath with my mates. Hi, I'm Lowell Shepard on board a Gibbs C-402 called Wahine, and together we make up the project Pacific Solo. We're currently on a training voyage around Japan, preparing to cross the North Pacific from Tokyo to Vancouver before I turn 70. Hey, please take a moment to subscribe and check out all the resources at the Never Too Late Academy. And remember, it's never too late. November 30th, uh, 10 to 7 in the morning. This is the day of departure where we are to leave for Amami Oshima. Uh, a non stop uh, multi day passage should arrive there early morning, the 4th. Uh, temperatures are plummeting today to single digit highs. Uh, yesterday we were 20 degrees high, and uh, the next couple of days the highs are like 8 or 9. Oh, we've got to navigate lots of islands and tidal currents. And option A is to get to Amami by December 4th. At that point, the weather conditions close in, atmospheric conditions uh, become more conducive to thunderstorms, which we want to avoid. Also, wave height and wave period gets a little problematic, and the wind direction changes. So, we've got a narrow window to make it to Amami. I've got Tony and Nikolai coming today, both uh, specialists in their own right, and you'll meet them shortly. So a lot to decide, but either way, whichever option we go with, we're still leaving this afternoon. Bye for now. Uh, it's gonna be frigid the next couple of days of sailing on passage. Strong wind, so whoever's on watch can sit here in the companionway. I can have this closed, a blanket, keep the heat down below. I gotta finish the provisions, top up the fuel tank, and then we're off about three or 3.30 to make it through a channel that is tidal currents. So I want to go through it slack tight. It's quite narrow and it's only about 45, 50 minutes away from here. Uh, so, uh, got things set up to sleep three people. Hey, Welcome. Hey, Daniel. Buses, ferries. <laughs> island taxi. Yep, Indeed. island taxi. Huh? The jalopy. <laughs> Rugs down so you can stay shoes on yeah, down some. below. Yeah, just basic shoes are where these were good. On and off the boat. Well, if you have socks on downstairs, you slip around too much when you hey. Okay, so Imabari is just over there. Those are the whirlpool channels. At this stage, if we had concern that for the night the winds were going to increase and in the busy shipping lanes and tidal currents, uh, we either go to port, we would go to Matsuyama Horie, which is about 25 miles that way. But I think we're okay just to keep going for the night. If you guys are happy with that. Okay, we'll just keep going. And the, the next option will be then having no second.
our YouTube subscribers. Let me know a second. Oh, <laughs> it's noon on November. No, it's noon on December first. We arrived here at one o'clock in the morning. Uh, temperatures have plummeted. Uh, Anthony and Nikolai valiantly uh, got us through the busy shipping channels. But as Nikolai points out, uh, we were in the traffic all the time, so there was a predictability because of the plummeting cold temperatures. And we have to time our. Uh, passing to the strait between that finger of Shikoku that points to Kyushu. Um, we're now decided uh, rather than aim for that at five o'clock today and then travel in the dark afterwards, we're gonna travel in the dark tonight, overnight towards it. Uh, set, tomorrow's the second day of cold weather, but then it begins to warm up. And then Saturday the third is actually very good sailing weather. So that's where we are. I've had a tooth fall apart on me, so I'm taking painkillers. Uh, but we're all good and we're going to go to the hot spring later. So bye for now. That's my 60 seconds up. Okay, we just left one of my favorite ports. Uh, very expensive. 27 yen. That's about 25 cents a night. I got Nikolai and Anthony with me. We've had to abandon our plans for our mommy uh, just because of the weather window and our given uh, other deadlines we have in our lives. And a bit of an electrical issue. Now heading over to Marampia Oita, where we can check on the electrical and then reconsider timetables from there. But I'm not due in Okinawa until the third week of March. So I've got plenty of margin to get there. Um, and uh, we could have pushed forward to Miyazaki in some frigid temperatures, but the cost of mooring there for a few weeks would be twice as much as where we're going now. So that's what we're doing. We'll have about a seven hour sail, uh, uh, 10 knots of wind up to gusts of 20 on the beam, meter waves at three second periods. Uh, the sun is shining and uh, it's gonna be a fun day. Got sprayed by a wave. I know my iPad is well protected. Take a look.
I'm back at Oita, where I've been twice before and spent the summer of 2021 here. Th thwarted in our plans to go any further forward to a Mami Oshima. We pulled into here. It looks like I'm going to be keeping the boat here now for a few weeks because I missed the window for me to get to a Mami due to some other deadlines I had before Christmas. 36 hours into our voyage, we discovered an electrical problem and the batteries were not recharging. Uh, and we were putting a, a, quite a draw on them, not recharging to the extent we needed them to. And we think because uh, there just wasn't enough daylight hours, solar. Uh, it, we're in a winter sun, you know, three weeks off the shortest day of the year. So we think that's maybe the problem. So we're gonna do a complete audit of the electrical system this morning and uh, see what the issues are. Thick wire is your earth wire which goes to your engine. Okay. Uh, a 10 amp battery charger is your starter. Number two is your house, your house battery, but it will start at number two as well. All this is original boat wire and it's all, nothing's been messed around with. And you've got your normal AB switch to switch on two batteries. And basically what's happening, you've got the number two battery, the number one battery, then you've got all these house batteries. So when it's on number two, it's not charging the house batteries. There's no power getting into that system. We're only running off battery power and solar panel. Um, so that's what's happening there. It turns out the problem was not with the electrical system, but my understanding of it, particularly when I'd added in extra batteries for house and the solar and the charge controllers, etc., etc. So we did a thorough examination, came up with a schematic. I now understand how the system works. You shall know the truth and the truth will set you free. Okay, now it's time for some R&R. &R. We are in the heart of hot spring country in Japan, near the onsen town of Beppu, and we're gonna go in search of the mud baths. Okay, guys. Here we go. Get your war paint on. There. Let's see. Gotta get the three of us in. <laughs> yes, we're all. This is plan M. M for mud. When all else fails, have a mud bath. Have a mud bath with your mates. <laughs> 